What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Bergs, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, this is free general collective reading for sign of Virgo. This could uh, resonate via Virgo in any as aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lord, Sun, Behave, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. This is a free oracle card reading for sign of Virgo. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,000, um, I think 235 or something. Um, you plug it in. Oh, well, I think it's 12,235. I didn't check for clicking the channel, um, the video on, but, um, However that applies, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, from the bottom of my heart chakra, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 5. The link's in the description box below. This is for May of 2022. This could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the messages in to your own personal situation, how they apply, if they do apply. If you think anyone else could benefit from the channel or the spiritual messages, um, if you wouldn't mind sharing my channel on your social media and word of mouth, I very much appreciate it. It helps the single mama's income stream, so I very much appreciate it. I did get one spiritual download as I, as I was meditating on your May of 2022's uh, Oracle card reading. I heard um, someone's public uh, tarot card reading platform is about to be shut down soon through many series of chain events. Um, that's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Someone's public tarot card reading platform is about to be shut down soon through many series of chain events. That could be your public platform, Virgo, um, tarot card reading um, platform, or someone you're connected to, however that resonates and applies in your life. Um, you could be emotional about person, people, place, or situation, or someone you're connected to could be. Because when um, the Ten of Cards fly out like that in a reading, it can indicate emotional instability either in you or somebody you're connected to. Or addictions, either you battling addictions or someone you're connected to. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have sign of Virgo. Keep fighting is what I just heard. Keep fighting. And I heard that loud. Keep fighting. So, however that applies to one's life. I don't think that it's physical fighting. Ow. Um, I think it, I don't think it's physical fighting. I think it's like maybe fighting for something you love or fighting for what you deserve or fighting for your rights or something like that. Um, I don't think it's physical altercation energy. At least I hope not. So you plug it in and it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Virgo. Okay. I'm going to put them back because I usually only take a max of three. Let's see what we got. It was mountain, major challenges to overcome, vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you, and purse. Pay attention to your finances. Spirit messages you have, Santa Barbara. A Gemini and a Virgo's relationship is about to blow up soon. Blow up. Not healthy. That's what I just heard. Oh, my Lord. 
some kind of Gemini energy. I've been pulling Gemini energy heavy, strong, um, strong in Virgo's readings recently. Um, I heard a Gemini and a Virgo's um, relationship is about to blow up. It's not healthy. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates, Virgo. It could um, it's some kind of relationship you have with the Gemini. It could be a masculine or feminine Gemini. If that resonates for you. Um, it, I feel it could be anybody, a friend, a neighbor, a lover, a past lover, a um, neighbor, a co-worker, former co-worker, um, whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. It could be somebody from your past, you've reconciled with. I mean, whoever in the world this person is, it's some kind of Gemini energy. But I've heard it's not healthy, whatever this connection is and how it resonates. You have got double love. Double love. Holy crap. Wombat spirit, be at home. Dove spirit, be peace. For some, you could be dealing with a, a, another earth sign and air sign energy. Uh, for some, you are dealing with Gemini, so the air sign energy. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or they may have their Jupiter charts. If you are, um, number 68, 23, 47, or 34 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 68, 23, 47, or 34, that could be possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 68, 23, 47, 34. Wombat spirit, be at home. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Love. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Love again. Double love energy. Double confirmation in the cards. And success. One by spirit, be at home. A particular Virgo sees someone as home to them. Healthiest relationship they know they would ever have. For some, they have already been in a relationship with this person in the past. For some, you have not. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty beautiful, Virgo. So if this resonates with you, for some of you guys, you have already previously been in a relationship with this person in the past. For some, you have not. Whoever this person is and how they apply it, I don't think it's this toxic, unhealthy relationship with some kind of uh, with Gemini, whoever that Gemini is and how they apply. It's somebody else, whoever this is. I didn't hear a sign, but... Um, for some, you have previously been in, in a relationship with them in the past. I heard it was the uh, healthiest relationship you've ever been in in your life. For some, it is someone you have never been in a relationship with. And I heard you know it would be the healthiest relationship you've ever been in in your life. So, be at home in this aspect is basically this person feels like home to you. This is what I'm feeling. Like, inside of you, they feel like home to you. So, that's really pre pretty beautiful if that resonates for you, Virgo. A home visit is about to become very significant to a Virgo. For some, you were the one get, getting the home visit. For some, you were the one visiting. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A particular home visit is about to become very significant to a Virgo. For some, you were the one, it sounds like visiting someone else's home. Uh, for some, you were the one about to be visited. So, um, to me, I feel this can be personal or professional, to be honest with you. Because home visits, you know, like, um, like um, child protective services and senior protective services and things like that, when they get calls, they have to home visit the homes. So, I feel that could be like on a personal level. 
or you know that could be um, police home visit or something of that nature um, if it's on the professional realm but um, it could be a home visit as well I feel it could go personal or professional either you're the one visiting someone's home on a personal or professional level or you were the one being visited either on a personal or professional level how that resonates I feel you if you are on the professional level you could be a social worker you could be an officer of the law you could be um, a guardian ad litem you could be a um, lawyer you could be a um, nurse how that resonates you could be uh, well I don't think doctors make house calls these days in 2022 um, so you plug it in how it resonates Dove spirit, be at peace. A particular Virgo has had some serious third party energy in their life. They are about to clear out the third party energy way 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 too much drama way too much wants peace oh my lord so you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you uh whoever that's for you've had some third party energy but it sounds like you have free willingly allowed this third party energy in your life whoever you are and how this applies um but i heard um you're about to clear it out you're about to clear out the third party energy because it's too much drama so um i think you're about you're about to cut the third party energy out um for some i mean you could go single single or just keep your partner how that resonates but i heard um it's going to give you peace once you do it so you plug it in how it resonates A significant song at a memorial service is about to become very, very significant to a Virgo. About to get them very emotional. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard a significant song at a memorial service is about to become very significant to a Virgo. It's about to get you very emotional. So um, I think that, uh, of that with this is like rest in peace because I heard a memorial service. So um, I think you're about to visit someone's a funeral um, a memorial service of a funeral in some shape some shape form or fashion someone that has passed away to the other um, realm um, how that resonates it's some kind of song it feels like it's gonna trigger deep emotions in you however that resonates in one's life if that resonates for you boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals A particular Virgo has been complaining about losing weight and complaining about losing weight, but they're not doing anything about it. You need to do something about it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, Virgo, um, one of you guys I heard has been complaining, complaining, complaining uh, about losing weight, but you're not doing anything about it. I heard you need to do something about it. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads or not, but whoever this is for obviously you want to lose some weight now I don't know how much you want to lose um you know it's different for everyone I don't know if you want to lose five pounds 50 pounds 500 pounds um however that resonates but you want to lose weight but you're basically complaining 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 about it but you're not doing anything about it I heard you need to do something about it so you know whatever you, if you choose to do something about it you know uh, diet exercise um um, really watching your intake I mean you know all those are very significant in weight loss so of course if you choose to do something about it whoever this is for you have you do, you like to complain about it but you haven't done anything about it and another Virgo has really been exercising a lot but they have not hit their, hit their goals they're about to change it up 
Oh, okay. Well, yin and yang here. Okay, so another one has been doing something about it. They have you have been doing something about it. That resonates for you. Um, exercising apparently. I don't. Um, I'm assuming you probably changed your diet as well, um, or not. I don't know. Only you know your story. But you have been exercising. If that resonates for you, I heard a lot. But you haven't hit your goals. I heard you're about to change it up. So however you're about to change it up, only you know your story, not anybody else. Love. Deep, 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 deep feelings run very, very deep for someone a Virgo is not with. It is secretly breaking them inside. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That, whoa. I was not expecting that one. Oh, that's, that's heart-wrenching is what that is. Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. That is heart-wrenching. So, good Lord, Virgo, if this resonates for you, I heard deep, deep, deep feelings run inside, run inside of you if this resonates for you. They run inside you or in love with someone you're not with, whoever you are. Um, you can be masculine or feminine, but you are definitely in love with someone you're not with. Deep, deep, deep feelings run very deep for somebody, uh, someone you're not with. Um, I heard it basically heartbreaks you inside. Um, you're not with this person. I think it breaks your heart because you are, you know, you, I, I think you, you know, sorry, I got face cream on, so I can't lift the camera. You know, you're in love with this person is what I'm feeling. You know, you are, but you are not with this person. I know. I don't know if you told them you're in love with them or not. I have no idea. Only, you know, your story, not anybody else, but there's a reason you're not with them. And I'm presuming there's a reason you haven't told them you're in love with them. Um, maybe you're scared. Maybe you think they will laugh at you. Maybe you think they will reject you. I'm not sure, but my Lord, this is, bless your heart. This is, woo. One Virgo will probably end up getting counseling soon to help cope with this. One will prob probably reach out. Oh, well, good. Holy crap. Woo, because that's strong. I heard one of you guys, it's at least two of you guys in the universe. I heard one of you guys will probably end up getting counseling to cope with it. Um, cope with these feelings of being in love with somebody that you're not with. Um, and one will probably reach out to the person. I'm, I'm presuming the person you're in love with. So however that resonates in one's life, Virgo. Ooh, that's strong. Um, but the one that's about to get counseling for it, well, both situations I think are good, to be honest. Reaching out to the one that you're in love with, communicating with. I think you haven't communicated with them in a while or a long time. How that resonates, that's good. And getting counseling to cope with it. Those are both good strategies there. So that's good. Let me see if I hear anything else. That's strong. Woo. Okay, I didn't. Oh, man. And, you know, we're talking about love here, not lust. I mean, love. Love is completely different than lust, um, whoever this is for. For some, it's a Sagittarius. For some, it's a Leo. Okay, I heard some is a Sagittarius, some is a Leo. So, for some of you guys, the one you're in love with that you're not with, for some, it is a Sag Sagittarius. For some, it is a Leo. I feel it could be a masculine or femme Leo, masculine or femme Sag. They could have Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Haven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Virgo. Woo wee. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Someone is about to transfer soon out of your workspace. You're not expecting expecting this. And someone is about to cut off communication, a catfisher, very karmic energy. 
you did not realize they were a catfisher. They're about to be exposed. Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, situation one, uh, you work in a physical workspace energy. I feel a 3D workspace energy. And somebody's about to transfer out of your unit or facility or floor or what have you. Um, um, cubicle or not cubicle, but um area or what have you they're about to transfer out of your area uh whatever workspace area you work in um i heard it's gonna shock you you wasn't expecting it so however that plugs in in one's life Virgo. so that's the chair empty someone leaving your life out of your workspace um you wasn't expecting it for situation one situation two um somebody is on your own line if that resonates for you it sounds you're online and you're communicating with someone it's some kind of catfishy spammy person um you didn't realize they were a catfishy spammy karmic person but um they're about to it sounds like they're about to cut communication with you soon it sounds like it hasn't happened yet but they're about to um because they're about to be exposed so i don't think in this situation you're going to expose them i think it's somebody else that's about to expose them um, I heard you didn't know. So somebody else is about to expose the catfishy karmic energy, but they're about to uh, cut off communication with you. But I think it's because their ass is about to be exposed. So I think on your aspect, you're going to be like, what the hell? Because they just cut communication. I think you're going to think they ghosted you. Um, but in reality, it sounds like really they're about to be exposed it sounds like by somebody else so someone leaving your life in the internet community is what it sounds like i think you think you're going to get ghosted is what i think you plug it in how it resonates but somebody's online i don't know if you're online dating i don't know if you're online communicating online group some kind of online activity this catfishy karmic scammer i'm a scammer spammer catfisher person Love. A particular Virgo has been having severe dreams recently. Severe dreams of memories of the past with the one they are lo in love with. Vivid dreams of memories of the past. Holy crap. Whoa. Somebody is in love with somebody they're not with. And I keep picking this up in Virgos and picking it up in Virgos and picking it up in Virgos. My Lord. Vivid memories, you, uh, you guys, whatever Virgo this resonates with, vivid memories. Uh, memories, I think, of when you were with this person, um, like in a romantical sense, romantical partner S type sense. Now, however you were with them, um, I don't know if it was girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, third party, situationship, secret love, or what have you, but however that applies but my goodness um vivid memories i heard vivid um vivid is you know we all know what vivid means i mean like you can touch taste feel and smell it kind of energy um woo we A particular ball game is about to become very significant to a Virgo. Love of the game. Oh, well, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. A particular ball game is about to become very significant to a Virgo. Love of the game. So some kind of ball game energy. Um, 
whatever ball game this is, um, I'm thinking probably baseball or softball because we're in baseball and softball season right now, but it really could be any kind of ball game, however that resonates in one lot, one's life. But I heard love of the game. So I think in this aspect, you are you love the game um, or someone you're connected to loves the game. I'm feeling this baseball or softball, but um, it could really be any kind of ball game energy, how that resonates. That's beautiful right there, how that resonates in one's life. Okay. Success. A particular music video of a Virgos is about to blow up in a very positive way. Quickly. Rock music. Holy crap. Whoa. Well, that's, oh my God. Whoa. That's beautiful. So a particular music video of a Virgos. I uh, feel you can be masculine or feminine. I heard it's about to blow up in a very positive way. Um, rock music. So success in your rock music video, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, I feel maybe you already, for some, if this resonates for you, you already could be successful, I'm feeling, for some. Um, I'm serious. But you you do rock music, I'll tell you that. Whoever you are, you're into rock. Um, me too, just saying, just saying. Um, I feel for some you already are successful. For some, you the rock music video may make you successful. However, this resonates. I feel you can be masculine or feminine if that resonates for you. Holy crap, man. That is so cool. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Virgo thinks, a uh, masculine Virgo thinks that feminine energy has been blocked, but they do not. You are about to realize this through many series of chain of events. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A masculine Virgo thinks a feminine energy has been blocked, but I heard you're about to realize they don't have you blocked through many series of chain of, chain of events. So I think you're about to have success and figure out if this feminine energy has you blocked um, and you're about to have success when you realize she doesn't. Um, for some, it could be the one that you're in love with that you're not with over here for one of you guys because somebody's in love with somebody they're not with, just for real, for real. Um, or not. You plug it in how, re how it resonates. A feminine Virgo is about to switch job fields soon. She's about to have a lot of success. She realizes she's very, very, very unhappy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's a good one too. So if this resonates for you, Fem Virgo, I heard you're about to switch um, job fields soon um, because you realize you're not happy. So success energy um, of you switching, it sounds like complete job fields, like Whatever job field you're in now, it's going to be a completely different job field because you're not happy in your current job field. So I heard you're going to have success. So whatever job field you're going to switch to, I think you are um, evaluating, self-evaluating and self-reflecting within your own self. What will make you happy and what, what does not and what does not make you happy currently is your current job field. But I heard you're going to have success when you switch job fields. I think it's going to make you a lot happier. Uh, for some, it could bring less stress, less worry, less anxiety, and possibly more money, which is always wonderful for everybody. Just saying, just saying. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates.
Okay. I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And I'm going to say.